Now, your eyewitness weather forecast. And a good Thursday night to you again. Wet roadways across the region. Temps getting closer to 30, so anything that's untreated, untreated that is, even though ground temps have warmed up, could have some slick spot action going on. So keep that in mind with overnight travel, that's for sure. It's at 34 at Rome, 34 here in Utica, Ilion at 33, 35 at Vienna. You make way out to the east through the Mohawk Valley, Little Falls at 34, Kennedy Harry at 32. Uh, Oneonta now at 29, Richfield Springs at 30. You make way into the heart of the Adirondacks from Old Forge, back to Blue Mountain Lake, the Adirondack Museum, Indian Lake, all at 27. Here is the eyewitness uh, news Doppler radar from Utica northbound up toward Watertown in Old Forge. Things have kind of lightened up here and you look at the loop and you see how things have progressed over the last hour or two. As an area of low pressure continues to sit here, several spokes of energy around the region, but it's broad low pressure from Boston all the way back through the Great Lakes. And again, here is the New York State Thruway, right through here, Utica over to German Flats. Here's US 20, and it's 20 points south right now that we're seeing the more widespread action as you make your way down toward Route 7, US 7 that is, in the 88 corridor. North of Utica again, things continue to lighten up, and the aerial coverage will continue to shrink here as we head through the next several hours. Speaking of several areas of low pressure, count them with me here. A one, a two, a three. When we look at the upper levels of the atmosphere, they're unsettled all the way back into the Great Lakes, and that's the reason why it's going to be unsettled as we head into and through the first half of the weekend. Now, we see that, look at high pressure, all the way back through southern Canada and into the central plains. Once that arrives here, starting Sunday, we got a few nice days and temperatures will now start to increase with the sunshine, now meaning the first half of next week. All right, here's your future cast as we head through tonight. Again, the aerial coverage continues to decrease regarding flurries and snow showers with daytime heating tomorrow. Things reinvigorate in terms of a scattering of rain, sleet, and snow showers. Same fire drill again tomorrow night. We lose the aerial coverage and heading into the first half of the weekend, remaining unsettled. So a scattering of rain, sleet, and snow showers again on Saturday. At least we're into the mid-40s, and then high pressure gets in here to get us, yeah, close to 50 on Sunday. All right, again, this is from earlier this evening through tonight, and basically tomorrow morning into early tomorrow afternoon. A little upslope here south of uh, I-90 and basically US-20 and a few locations, Tug Hill back into the Adirondacks, another inch, inch and a half, maybe two in spots. All right, here's your forecast as we head through tonight. Mostly cloudy. Again, the aerial coverage with the flurries and snow showers continues to shrink and down to 31. For tomorrow, mostly cloudy, a bit breezy, a scattering of rain, sleet and snow showers and a high of 39. All right, here we go with Saturday. First half of the weekend is unsettled. Come Sunday, though, partly sunny, a high near 50, just in time for the eclipse on Monday afternoon. A lot of sunshine. That lack of cloud cover means a great view of the eclipse near 60, mid-60s Tuesday. Oh, it's going to feel good before we deal with cloud cover issues and an increasing shower threat Wednesday, Thursday of next week. Back to the news desk with Shelby. It certainly will feel good. All right. Thanks, Tim. Still to come tonight on Eyewitness News at 11. It's about to be a historic weekend for the North Country as tens of thousands of people are traveling to the area for the solar eclipse. I'm Isabella Colello and coming up, I'll talk to people who are traveling here from across the country.